EPA fig. So we have another day of fresh fruits from Kauai. Uh, we hit up another farmer's market and got a selection of different things. There's a few things I'm pretty excited about. This is the black sapote. I uh, posted a quick video of that. We have a guava, a sunset papaya, a green creamy apple, a pomelo, a mountain apple, some tangelos, some chicos, or they're also um, sapodillas or sapotes, depending on what you know This is a V apple, which I haven't heard anything about, so we're gonna check that out. We've got some lemons, the bananas again, and then my wife's favorite, we got some cocoa pods. We're gonna eat some of the flesh off the seeds, and the rest of them we'll actually bring home to dry out the seeds, roast the seeds, and then maybe try to make some chocolate. All right, so the first thing we have here is a tangelo. Now, the lady at the farmer's market said that these were ripe enough to where if I just roll them for a while, and I already did this for a few minutes, but she said if I just roll them for a while, that the juice will come out, and I can cut it open and just put a straw in it and have fresh orange juice. But we actually have a glass here. We're gonna test it out. So let's see if I can cut open just the top. See what happens. Oh, look at that. Well, I guess they are juicy. <laughs> look at that. Look at the amount of juice. Jeez. That That's is impressive. beautiful. <laughs> Fresh, barely squeezed orange juice, I guess, for, the, for breakfast this morning in Kauai. All right, Tracy, go ahead and hit pause. I'll keep squeezing this. We'll come back. All right, so you can see out of just a single tangelo, that is how much juice was produced. I was pretty impressed. I did not expect that. So let's give it a try. Mm. That's, that's very good. That is very, very good. Try. Go ahead, Teresa, give it a try. Yeah, you can drink that every morning. It's not as uh, acidic as the orange juice we get back home. Yeah. That is extremely good. And all of that out of one tangelo. What were the tangelos? There were... Three for... Three for a dollar? I think so. Something like that. So, not bad. Pretty good. All right, let's move on to the next thing. All right, so up next we have a cacao pod. Most of you know this as cocoa or chocolate. And these are the pods it comes in. Inside there are the seeds. And each seed has a little bit of a fruity layer around it. And the fruity layer is what you can eat. If you dry them, you can actually eat the seeds straight if you want. Some people make uh, teas out of them. Some people make drinks out of them. Uh, I think what we're gonna do is, I think it's okay to bring the dried seeds on the plane with us home. So we're gonna eat some of the fruit now off the seeds, keep the seeds, dry them out in the sun here and then bring them home with us and then we'll figure out what we'll do with them there. So let's see if I can open this up easily. It uh, looks hard but has the consistency of like a, a squash. It's almost like opening up a acorn squash. Inside you can see the little cocoa pods, the little cocoa seeds. I'm pick these apart a little bit. You can see inside of here is a cocoa seed, but it has this white fruity texture around it. 
Alright, there's no way to pull it off. You just gotta kinda suck on it. And... It tastes kinda like... A little bit like pineapple mixed with chocolate. And you could bite down the seeds, but the seeds are very bitter. Until they're roasted, they don't really get that strong chocolatey taste. You wanna try one? Yeah. What do you think? I like them. You like them? Mm -hmm. One of your favorite, right? Yeah. Brave enough to bite down one of the seeds to see what it tastes like? Are you supposed to? I don't know. I think they're just bitter. Yeah, it doesn't really taste like my taste. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Purple. Purple inside, yeah. Alright, that's cocoa. All right, and for a quick comparison, here is the yellow cocoa cacao pod versus the red cacao pod. You can see a slightly different size to them, but uh, pretty much the same insides. When they're roasted, however, they have a slightly different taste, different flavor. So hopefully we'll get to try those out. All right, so this is a V apple. Never heard of these before, so this is going to be something new for me. Bought this at the market. The lady claimed she was the only person on Kauai that uh, grows these. I have no idea what it is. It uh, has the consistency of a... I don't know. On the outside it feels kind of like a apple or a not quite ripe pear. She said they were ripe, so let's take a look. So there should be some small seeds in it. Juicy. It's very fragrant. Very fragrant. Not very easy to open, however. It's got a core in it of some sort here that's not easy to cut through. It has a center stone. And the outside kind of has a consistency like a uh, nectarine. Very fragrant. That's oh, a very distinct taste. It's got a citrusy honey flavor to it. What about try, Teresa? Different, right? Yeah, I don't know if I like it or not. You don't know if you like it? Not really the consistency of an apple. No, it's not More the consistency like of an apple. Nectarine. More like a nectarine. Yep. It's different. What do you think the what do you think it tastes like though? It's kinda of got like that citrusy acidic. It's got a little sweetness and then it if you get too close to this. Skin, I feel like it tastes like the skin. The skin, don't like the skin part of it, huh? But the inside of it's not so bad. Very different. No, it's kind of mild. Yeah, it's kind of mild. But yeah, that would be good in like a smoothie. Probably. Hmm. All right, well that's the V apple. All right, next is the Chico, where you'll see them here called Chikus or Sapodilla. Um, in Hawaii they're called Chikus or Chicos. So this is supposed to be a sweet, like, caramel, cinnamon flavor on the inside. So, let's see. Very soft. You have to, they said the softer they are, the riper they are. So this one could have used a little more time, even. Pretty inside. Soft texture, like a um, cantaloupe or a, you know, a papaya or something real ripe like that. Let's see. Oh, that's good. That's very good. That's very, very, very good. And I imagine as it gets riper, it even intensifies that flavor. 
That's very good. I like those. I can give those a try, Teresa. Not your thing? Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. I really liked it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like it, huh? It's like a grainy texture. It's got a grainy texture to it. I thought the flavor was outstanding, though. It's like the texture of a pear with a flavor. I don't know how to explain the flavor. Really? I thought it was good. I thought it was kind of caramelly. I thought it was like a caramel, salty, nutty flavor to it. I really liked it. Not you. No. Okay. <laughs> well, there we have the Chico. It gets one for two. With rave reviews for me and not so much for Teresa. All right. On to the next fruit. All right. So next we have a Palmelo, which is definitely your best bang for the buck. This is a small one. It was a dollar. Most of them are about a dollar, dollar fifty. And this is supposed to be a grapefruit, but sweeter for those of you that haven't had these before. I think I have, but it's been a long time. I smell it already. It's very fragrant. Hmm. It's yellow inside. That's strange. Thought palmellos were normally pink inside. Grapefruit is. But maybe not. Maybe there's different types. Looks like a lemon. It does look <laughs> like a lemon. <laughs> hmm. Well, give it a try. Not much flavor at all. It's like a, um, it's like a very bland orange. Hmm. It's not bad, just not a lot of flavor. Very, very mild. It doesn't have the bitterness of a grapefruit. It doesn't have the flavor of an orange. Hmm. I'm curious if that could be still. It really reminds me of a lemon. It looks like a lemon, but it doesn't taste like a lemon. A really mild orange is what tastes like. Yeah, it's very plain. I like it. You like it? Mm -hmm. I don't think there's anything to not like about it. It's just, uh, I don't know. It's almost a, I don't know why you'd eat it other than maybe for the fiber or... Maybe the juice would make a... It doesn't look like it's all that juicy, so I don't know if you could really squeeze it. Water. Flavor. Infuse mm -hmm. the water. Maybe put it in water and just give it a little bit of citrusy flavor to it. Mm -hmm. Alright. Well, that's pomelo. I'm a little underwhelmed by this one. Let's see what else we got. Alright, so next we have a yellow guava. And I don't know if I've ever had a guava. So this is going to be something different for me to try. So there was two, there was a one with a yellow inside, and one with a, or a white inside, and one with a pink inside. The pink inside, I guess, tastes the same, but make a prettier presentation, so they went pretty quick. And these were the ones that were left, so. Let's see. Nice and soft. A lot of small seeds, which I believe are edible. I don't know there's much of a way to get around them. Let's see what we got here. smell it. Oh, you know what it smells like? It smells a lot like Lilikoi. Smell that. Mm -hmm. It smells just like Lilikoi or passion fruit. It tastes a lot like passion fruit. Like a creamy passion fruit. Bitter? No. The seeds, however, are, um, very hard. 
So I guess you're not supposed to eat the seeds. So, ah, maybe you're supposed to scrape this inside part out. Mm. Yeah, seeds. Can't chew the seeds. All right, let's try this. It's good. Again, it's pretty mild. It has the fragrance of the, of the passion fruit, the little koi. It doesn't have the extreme tartness, though. It's a little bit, a little bit on the sweet side. Go ahead, Teresa, give it a try. It smells a lot like it. it smells a lot like little koi, doesn't it? What do you think, taste-wise? Yeah, it's not as powerful as Lil' Koi is. Really it's a little small. creamy, right? Mm -hmm. Not bad. I'd eat it again. It's good. I like it. Okay. That's what they make juices out of. Yeah, they make a lot of juice out of the guava around here. But uh, that's the yellow guava. Alright, so next we have a mountain apple. It's the first time I've actually seen these for sale in the farmer's markets, so I have not tried one yet. It's supposed to be the Hawaii's version of an apple, but I believe it is extremely different than an apple, so you don't want to go in expecting it to taste like an apple. The consistency, I think, is a little bit similar. You can see it's got the seeds inside here, just one seed pod. And then the rest of it is, eh, looks like it's kind of creamy. Much fragrance to it. Let's see how it tastes. It does not have the consistency of an apple. Close to it, but more spongy. And really not a lot of flavor. Go ahead, Teresa, give it a try. Plain. It's very plain. Kind of a spongy texture, right? No. Pretty fruit, but <laughs> not much to it. <laughs> All right, so that is the mountain apple. You're not missing too much, but it's pretty fruit. All right, so the other day we had a purple cream apple. This is a green cream apple. Supposedly they're the exact same thing, but we're going to find out. A lot of latex on this. Oh, actually, maybe that's not latex. Maybe it's just what the inside looks like. Okay, looks very similar to the purple. Just um, doesn't have the purple hues. Same texture. Kind of a squishy scallop slash raw fish. I know that sounds appetizing, but that's kind of what the texture is. Hmm. Yeah, it tastes just like the purple. It's very good. If um, if it had a little bit better of a texture, it would be a better fruit, I think. Just the texture throws you off a little. Hmm. There's the seed. That's pretty good. It's very sweet. It's very sweet. Just the, the squishy texture is kind of... Um, Something that throws you off. Go ahead, Teresa, give it a try. Yeah, this is the one that. It's very juicy. Very juicy. Much softer than an apple. Yeah, yep. It's got some sweetness to it, too, which is nice. I like it. All the mixed together would make a good smoothie. Yeah, it would make a good smoothie. Okay, well, there's the green cream apple. All right, this is a Kauaian lemon. It'll be interesting to see how sour it is compared to the lemons back home. Real thick skin to it. 
Boy, it's fragrant. Very fragrant. It smells beautiful. All right. Let's see how bad I pucker. Mm. It's actually not as sour. I mean, it's a little sour, but it's not as sour as lemons back home. It's got a real good sweetness to it. It's definitely got some, <laughs> some sourness to it, but it's very tasty. <clears throat> All right, Teresa. You love your lemons. I know, but I usually eat them plain. Well, usually you put them in your water. What do you think? It's good. It's nice and strong. bitter, but it's got good flavor to it. And much sweeter than the lemons you get back home. You can actually eat those. You can actually almost eat those plain. Mm -hmm. All right, so here's your favorite thing. Here's yeah, your bottle of water. That's what I love to do. <laughs> So she's been looking forward to this all week. Just being able to put some of that fresh lemon into a bottle of water and just be able to drink it that way. It's squirting everywhere. <laughs> Give it a try. What do you think? <laughs> Alright, Kauaian lemons. Very tasty. Alright, so our next fruit is a kumquat. Now the kumquat is one of the few citrus that I know of that you can actually eat the skin or that you want to eat the skin on because the skin is sweet and the inside is actually tart. Let's go ahead and cut this open. And I like to cut it just like this. these little seeds out. And that is the kumquat. Let's give it a try. Mm, it's good. I like kumquat. a little bit of tartness inside of it, but it tastes kind of like a um, cross between an orange and a lemon. So that little tartness of the lemon with the sweetness and the flavor of the orange. It's pretty good. Go ahead, Teresa, give it a try. I like them. We yeah. should grow some of these. You should grow some of these? In Pennsylvania? Yeah. Okay, we'll give that a try. Inside. Inside? <laughs> They're pretty good. Alright. That is the Kauaian Kumquat. And you can see how small they are. They're not real big. There's a full size. All right. Okay, last we have a chocolate sapote or a black sapote. I've already posted a quick video on this, but just wanted to add it onto here. Let's go ahead and open this up. And you can see it's, you know it's ripe because it's ripe. You can just pull it right apart. This one has a little bit of a different consistency than the last one we had. It's normally this kind of chocolate pudding over here. But as I dig down, you'll see it's more on the bottom there. Okay, so a lot of people say this tastes like chocolate pudding. Um, I can see the similarities. I don't know if the taste. I wouldn't go into eating one of these thinking it tastes like chocolate pudding. It looks like chocolate pudding, has the texture of chocolate pudding, but it tastes, you know, more like a fruit. Still good. I think I prefer the Chico sapote more than the black sapote, but it's still tasty. I and mean, it's still very tasty. Alright, Teresa. I think I tried this already. <laughs> it, it does get messy. It's like a pudding texture, but it's not tasty. It doesn't taste like chocolate pudding, yeah. No. It, it has the texture of it. What does it taste like, though? That's the hard part. Kind of plain. Kind of plain. So, 
hard to explain some of these fruits because they don't taste like anything that we're used to on the mainland. <laughs> I don't even know what flavor. Well, it's, it's not bad though. I don't know if I could make a meal out of it, but it's a nice thing to uh, try here or there. All right, chocolate sapote. All right, bonus round. Teresa, you gotta pick one fruit. You can only have one. Which one do you pick? I don't like this game. <laughs> <laughs> you can only pick one. You got five seconds, uh, which one? I really like the tangelos. All right, grab the tangelo. Grab the tangelo, so you're gonna make some juice out of the tangelo. All right, I get to pick one, and I am going to pick really? the Chico. Mm hmm I thought the Chico was delicious. So different strokes for different folks, but this is gonna be my breakfast, and... Well, this and one of the... No, no, you can only pick one. You can only pick one. Okay, if you had to pick two, what would the second one be? The cocoa? Probably. All right. <laughs>